Oh, all right. Got everything but the uh, the remove the black card. Yeah, you can see my W, and let me say my I O W A. Go Hawks! Big big week for we got, Iowa. We got mirrored. Oh yeah, yeah. Iowa. Speaking of, so our state's uh, battle this week: Iowa versus Wisconsin. Oh yeah, which is going to be the second most exciting thing for my mom because she's during the game she'll be at Tony Orlando. He's coming to Dubuque again. Pretty awesome. I got her tickets. Wow, the week gets better and better for yeah. Iowa. Yeah, he. It's his second trip to Dubuque. Those casinos do pretty well for those old fossils. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey Gene, it's easy <laughs> when they got a check coming every single yeah. month. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you and I are paying for it. So oh, yeah. uh, enjoy. Oh yeah, mom's gonna. Hey, you work. Uh, mom, you work very well, hard for watches. it. Uh, mom's gonna <laughs> love it. She loved them. She already saw them once, so this is very. I would love to go, but oh, you know, I'd have to fly back there. Um, uh, is Donka Shan gonna be sung? <laughs> that would be uh, Wayne Newton. Oh, oh. yeah, uh, knock three times. Oh, uh, tie a yellow oh. ribbon around the old oak tree. If I'm not, if you don't want me, oh, tie a yellow ribbon. If you still want me. Yeah, I, I'll drive if I. He's on the bus, and if he doesn't see the yellow ribbons, he'll keep going. Something like that. Why? Because the uh, oh, because he, he's a he's a. I think he was in a war, the fictional character, and he's coming home, and he's saying to his lady friend, "If you still want me, tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree." And she, and he he rides home, and there's a ribbons tied on every oak tree in whatever town he was in. Uh, so what? That meant she was down to yeah. to, to get effed, <laughs> or what? That's how it was back in the day. I don't I don't think they did that in the. I don't know. I don't think so. All right. All. Well, Gene, yes. uh, l- let's do the uh, opening of the show here, and then oh, okay. I will let you uh, talk about Iowa for a moment because I Tony need to Orlando. grab my water. Water. Yeah, Tony Orlando. Uh, so this is the Midwest Sports Show, and uh, my name is Chris Hutz, and Hello. then uh, that's Gene Steichen. Hello. And uh, sounds like a lot was going on in Iowa with the football well, game. No, it's Saturday. Iowa at the Badgers, which is a big game. Iowa's playing. Oh, I hope we're playing pretty well. But Wisconsin's tough at home. They're very tough. I like the Packers at home. They haven't lost at home yet. Or, mm, All right, well, let's let debate. Hold on. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of Wisconsin's schedule. Oh, so that'll be really good, especially since Iowa hopefully will win. And then I'd also, um, in my hometown, West Dubuque, the high school, they're ranked number one in the state. So hopefully they'll continue on to a title. And I saw this weekend, I saw Jesus Christ Superstar not once but twice, the 50th anniversary. Fantastic. Wow, that is uh, that yeah. is some killer filler time. I man. went I went to Jesus Christ Superstar. I was either going to do that or I really wanted to go, oh, I'll wait for the Packers. But the Packers were playing and – you saw what tickets so were going does for, Je- right? does Jesus die in that play? Uh yeah, it it pretty much follows his real life. <laughs> and he comes and he comes back to life to no, be resurrected. No, that's where they stop. Well, he comes back. Judas is there and then Now, isn't that the one where they all get naked at the end? That's hair. Oh, that's but hair. Okay. okay. But it's the yeah. same it's same by the same guy, deal. isn't it? Yep. It's like a hippie play? Uh yeah. Yeah, it's a great – oh, it's such a great show. Did this make you want to go to church afterwards? I, I've been to church. I was at church a couple of weeks ago with my mom. You know, I, w- I went to church. Mm, <laughs> I've been to church twice in the last m- month and a half or t- two months. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's that's not bad. I mean – I mean, you're supposed I, to go once every week. Well, those days are gone. Let me just say that. Yeah. Yeah. Those. those yeah. Sometimes those there's a London. My mom's listening. Sometimes there's a London game at 6 a.m. here. Yeah. The days of me. I used to go. There's a church on Sunset where I used to go, and then. I, I, Isn't that the Arnold Schwarzenegger church, on uh, Highland? Or no, that's not Highland. No. Right? Uh, it's the Blessed Sacrament. But uh, okay. We got a new priest in my hometown. He's pretty cool. My mom likes him, so. Eh. Whatever. All right, He's sweet. Okay. All right, Gene, we should just, uh, I should just produce a podcast for you called hey, uh, I- Iowa. Oh, yeah. Gene's I mean, Iowa. Gene Steichen's Iowa. Yeah. And you but could talk for 10 hours right. about oh, what's I going on in Vegas Iowa. with my family. Oh, when was that? That was last week. Oh, okay. I made it back from that. Yeah, what? that was last week. Okay. I'm <laughs> okay. okay. I'm here now. All right. Well, Gene, we're going to talk a oh, little. Oh, it's six inches of snow in Dubuque. How's that? 
Yeah, I did. I did see that there was snow. Oh my god, it sucks! It was uh, eighty degrees around one o'clock today. Yeah, I mean here we're still that? we're it's November and we're still summer. Oh well. Yep. We feel for you. All right. Well, Gene, we're gonna talk a little sports. Okay. Because uh, we're gonna stick to sports. Mm. That Enough way we of the can't weather. get yelled at by uh, President Trump. Yeah, we cannot. No. We won't. Okay. Uh, hey, I would love that publicity. By the way, yeah. If there's any way we can uh, well, you know do a what? retweet or something? He, yeah. Too bad we weren't better connected to our governor Gavin Newsom. He seems to be having a beef with him right now. <laughs> yeah. It's I like how uh, Trump blames Gavin Newsom for the fire. <laughs> it's know. like, uh, yeah, guy's busy just like you. He can't, he can't oh be you know, running around the canyons and yeah. be like, hey, clean this up. And then uh, the forest department, and then uh, yeah, <laughs> by the way. What, what that has to do with Malibu is. Uh, yeah. By it, the way, you know who's pretty good at fires? The fire department. Okay, yeah. Gavin Newsom. I don't think you want Gavin Newsom coming out of the fire department telling those guys what to do. Right. Let those right. guys handle it. Yeah. You know. As, just, as if it's only Gavin, Gavin Newsom with a uh, hose. We're doing our best, President. And we pay a lot in taxes out here. So uh, help us out once in a while, maybe. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if, you find it, if you find it in our hearts. Hey. Mm, hey. Like our friends from Colorado, Cheryl. Uh, I just want to. I would like to dedicate this to Cheryl. She had a s- small accident, but she's on the mend. Hopefully she'll be back to. By, uh, All right. And okay. I, I love the part where Trump was like giving tips, like forestry tips. Right, like, I know. Did he see like a Smokey the Bear like yeah. commercial in between he, Fox and Friends? Come out, uh, last year he came out and kind of yelled at us for uh, not doing a better job <laughs> with the forest. So All right. I don't know if he'll make it out this year. But. T- Donald Trump has dementia, right? Does everyone know, know that? Everyone, know he has a know. cognitive brain disease, all right? Can we just know. all agree to that? He's yeah. watching Fox and Friends, and he's, he's doing policy he's by watching Fox. Trump. Yeah. I mean, you know, right or left wing, you got to admit, you know, you should, <laughs> a president should be watching TV and yeah. uh, deciding, and that should not be his uh, major counsel. Well, I told mom, I go, uh, she said the farmers weren't too happy with them, so. I don't know if that means anything. Hey, don't cash those checks. Am yeah, I right? Mom, Send them to me. My mom, my mom's tuned in. 83. Send those checks to me. Code. Yeah. I love when they say that and then they uh, cash that check. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, Gene, we're going to start. Okay. We're going to stick to sports, Gene. Oh, yeah. See, that's I, what I I'm watch saying. This game. I watch this game. I watch. Uh, I Minnesota watch at Kansas that City. That one I watched. Well, <laughs> let me see. How much did I watch? I did watch a lot. Well, of I it. watched the half, just like I watched the half of the Chicago. I only watched the half, and oh, I went over I to a friend. Chica- I want to watch Chicago. Philly. Hopefully, you didn't watch a bad half of Chicago because the first half, woof. All right. Well, we will talk woof. about that. But, Gene, a little news uh, yeah. about Minnesota Vikings before the game. Okay. Javon Kurse was pulled over by police and arrested yes. after failing field sobriety tests. Yeah. He has been charged with carrying and possessing a pistol hmm. without a permit, a gross misdemeanor. Carrying a pistol while under the influence of alcohol, that's not good. Can't be drunk having a gun. Hmm. Operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol uh, and having a concentration over 0. .08. Wow. Uh, and careless what driving. What these guys with the guns? I know. Well, Gene, you know, you got to... It's pr- kind of a status symbol, but put them away. I once owned a gun. When I was six years old, I had my own shotgun, but I, I uh, lost those privileges by the time I was seven. Yeah. Well, Gene, you know, wh- why does this guy have a gun? Why? Well, you know, you got to protect yourself from the mean streets of Bloomington, <laughs> all right? <laughs> a lot of bad things going there, huh? Hey, a lot of gangs in Mall of America, okay? <laughs> if you're wearing the wrong colors by the Spencer's Gifts, watch yourself. <laughs> what? Now, what is that? Your, your references are great. What what Spencer's gift? Shane, you you have a Spencer's Gifts in a mall in Dubuque, right? Okay. Well, we do still. I believe our mall might still be open, Kennedy Mall. Yeah, we used to have a a Woolworths and a Rochex. Well, that's old. I think they went out of business. I think there's a Woolworths in Yeah. I uh, guess Milwaukee. Spencer's gift is that uh, jewelry. It's just yeah, it's just a bunch of crap, like a bunch of knickknacks. Okay, crap. well, uh, so he needs he needs a gun to, to when he's patrolling Spencer. What else? <laughs> <laughs> patrolling all right, Spencer. Gene, the joke's over. All right, oh, joke is finished. Good, though. You really caught me off guard there. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right, and then uh, yeah, so it was a pretty close game. Yeah. Uh, Matt Moore was slinging the ball. I, I told you, I was, Gene. I, KC is good. They got yeah, good players. Yeah, I was rooting for Kansas City. Not, I mean, 
Uh, I was rooting for Kansas City just because <laughs> I didn't want the Vikings to win. All right. Um, and so, Gina, I watched like the last two minutes. So what happened? Like, did I, I oh, guess Kirk Cousins happen? probably had a chance? Yeah. Or did they did they miss the field goal? No, no, I think... no Kansas City scored. The field goal was on the last play of the game, wasn't it? I, I can't remember. But, oh. but I think either – this is really good sports radio yeah, here. Uh, but I believe Minnesota had a chance to drive, and I don't think Kirk Cousins got it done. Right. right? I think it, they well, probably maybe lost it on the fourth down tied, or something. And then Kansas City kicked the field goal on the last play, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. And then Matt Moore drove him down. Yeah. So – Good for I well because I don't want Kansas City to lose anymore. I like them. I I would like to see them win the Super Bowl if certain other teams couldn't win. Minnesota is kind of far down my list. Yeah, it's always fun to watch. Uh, um, but I, I I'll take Minnesota over the Patriots. Patrick Mahomes. Oh, he so. he'll be back. I think now next week. Maybe. Yeah, beat beat uh, the Patriots. Uh, that would have been a Please. tough loss because they've lost two in a row at home. Mm. Three? No, they lost three in a row, oh, so that would have yeah. been number four. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. All right, so you know what else is not good? What? The Chicago Bears. Oh, my gosh. They've lost five, five in a row now, right? Uh, no, no, like no, not five, four. Or four three. In a row? No, they're, they're three and five. They were three and two. They lost to Oakland, then the Saints. Yeah, this is four. All yeah, right. Then well, the Saints, and then... Uh, whatever last week's debacle, Chargers. Yeah, th- this is four in a row. Well, gosh, they suck. The week didn't start very good Matt for Nagy. Mitch Trubisky. Yeah, him and him and Matt Nagy had a rough week. Said uh, on his Wednesday press conference, Trubisky, that he looked like a shell of myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, this is a, a story about him uh, watching the uh, game footage. Yeah, the little they, the broadcast, the literal made him broadcast, watch the Fox coverage. Uh, and that he wants to alter that in the future so that he can be more of a positive presence for his teammates. Uh-oh. I was mostly just like a guy who looks super serious and kind of tense, Trubisky said, and that's not really not me, especially when you're going out to the field and playing the game you love. You should be out there having fun, which I usually am, but I'm not showing that. I think I can portray that in a different way that my teammates can feed off. Yeah. Well, Mitch, you're going to have to watch more tape. Yeah. that Because was- it didn't work. Yesterday... If they, if you didn't think they had rock bottom before, please let yesterday be rock bottom. Well, Gene, they're uh, the first half. Yes. They got one first down, and it was a penalty. And oh, I, okay, I didn't know that. And they had nine total yards in I the know. first half. Yep. Gene, this literally looked like, you know when like one of those great quarterbacks goes down and some scrub yeah. kind of takes over? Yeah. When Trubisky was behind center, it looked like a third string quarterback. It's amazing. Playing. I I think he, I maybe he'll start this week. They're playing the Lions. Uh I don't know. It's such a mess. And it's just magnified by how much they gave up to get him at number two. It's bad. Ten picks before uh Deshaun Watson and eight picks before uh Patrick Mahomes. Oh, it's terrible. The Bear fans are so, so upset. I listen to ESPN Chicago. Not good. So what are they saying? Give us an update, Gene. Uh, they're, they're, they want everybody fired. They want uh, McCaskey to sell the team, <laughs> uh, Matt Nagy to be fired, and, and Ryan Pace, the GM, to be fired. And uh, definitely no more Mitch Trubisky. How much can so you they're, expect? They're, they're done. They're, they don't even want well, this guy to even. Well, how much, can you, how much more can you watch of this guy? The problem is he'll do like one or two good passes. Like yeah, he'll, he'll throw it on a rope or yeah, on a dime. Yeah, right. But like that's like maybe two got times a game. Yeah, and it'll be a nice forty yard reception. Sure. But again, you know, you cannot do that consistently. You can't even do short passes. You can't even like uh, avoid sacks. He's getting oh sacked gosh. all the time. He does. He, he can't I get know. rid of the ball quick enough. Na- and it was the worst offense of. Was this it is the first half in forty years. And this is, is this, this is his third bad. year, right? This is not his second. This year. This is his third year. He looks like a rookie quarterback. It's it's I I just don't know how they can keep going. Like Look this. at Kyler Murray. Versus this guy. Kyler Murray is good. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You can say uh, that. Baker looks good compared to Trubisky. And Baker's been terrible. Well, I, Gene, I, it doesn't get any better for the Bears because uh, looking to, the story came out that looking to rally a Bears team in hibernation mm. after consecutive defeats, Bears coach Matt Nagy found inspiration in the World Series. Yeah. And delivered his message of hope via PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, but they've Do you remember uh, uh, um, 
Lambo, Vin- Vince Lambo. No, not no. That that's Curly Lambo. Curly. Vince yeah. Lombardi. Yeah, Vince. Right. Remember Vince Lombardi's famous PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> I know. I remember don't. watching I, those on NFL Films, getting I, chills. I <laughs> I read Vince Lombardi's book, and I did a book report for my dad in his class, and I I don't remember the PowerPoint presentation in his book. No, I don't. You know, you, it wasn't a chapter on uh, how to correctly set your font. <laughs> no. God, they're pulling uh, out all the gimmicks. Oh, he cited the Washington Nationals claiming the World Series on Wednesday night to cul- cul- culminate. A glorious season in which they dubiously got off a uh, 19 and 31 start. Uh, well, listen, Matt. Mm. Bo Jackson is not on the Bears. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, prime time, not on the Bears. That's right. Not on the Bears, uh, Matt. It's a different sport. Okay, totally different sport. Mm. It's a mess. I mean, right. I, I maybe maybe the twelve and four year last year was a fluke, and this is what they're really like. I'll tell you one thing: that you, Trubisky shouldn't be playing. He shouldn't even be. Well, he, he shouldn't even be on a team. How about this, Gene? I, I don't got even I think got an idea. He could be a backup. I got an idea. Yeah. How about every time Trubisky gets sacked, they play Baby Shark because because <laughs> of the Nationals, Baby Shark. Oh, that song, that kid song, that yeah. one Gerardo Paro. All right, wow, that one, that one went way over. Well, my you're not, mind. you don't have kids, you're not. Yeah, well, just Google Baby Shark. All right, I, I got you. I, I think I heard that reference last week somewhere. It's a, it's a, it's a kids song. Yeah, the kids love on YouTube. It has like mm. 69 billion views. It's crazy, and uh, it's a really catchy song actually. Okay. And Gerardo Paro's uh, kids wanted in the. Well, he changed wow. he changed his walk up music to that sort well, streaking th- and then, rallying. And then, uh, here's the Bears dilemma. Uh, this guy called in today. He's 66 years old, so he's been watching the Bears <laughs> his whole lifetime. Never had a good quarterback. How about that? I mean, it just it's painful. Who's the most famous? I mean, other than McMahon, McMahon well, wasn't even that good. But like, McMahon who? McMahon had one great year with the uh, '85 Bears, but he was hurt outside of that. I don't know. Cutler. But like, who who's the famous? Uh, Color is the best quarterback the Bears I have ever think had. So I mean, even though he, he was kind of a disaster. Well, I'm talking about from like the 50s. Wasn't there like Otto Sid Graham, Luckman. Sid Luckman? He wasn't he on the Giants or the? Oh, I think he played in the Bears in the 1920s. I don't know. That's before they had forward passes. So. Something weird. It's oh man, it's All a right. mess, and it it sucks because when especially it gets you know Deshaun Watson. It, Patrick Mahomes is so good every week, and you're like, oh crap. And you uh, moved and up, don't, and they don't, yeah, and they moved up, and they don't have a number one pick next year either. M- moved up to get the stiff white guy. Yeah, they moved up from three to two to take somebody that nobody had any intention yeah. of. And the Forty ers weren't there; they're going to even pick nobody, a quarterback. No, they, no nobody would have taken him. You could have moved back to the sixth round and got him. Oh. Well. All right. Well, the Bears are a mess. Mm. We don't have to. It sounds we're yeah. being the same drum. Yeah, Gene. yeah, yeah. Uh, Packers not good. Well, I'll tell you what, Gene. I, I hope uh, America's uh, ready to bury the uh, Green Bay Packers. There you go. Right after Bill Simmons. Did you look at ticket prices though? Uh, yeah, I think it was like uh, four hundred and seventy nine dollars, like five hours before the game, before. and and, and there's like only eighty tickets or something. And then, yeah, but then you, it's almost like a hundred dollar. Was that including fees? No, nah, I mean this is just the uh, lowest to highest. So yeah, the yeah, lowest because price. StubHub fees have gone way up. So if you get a ticket for four fifty, you're gonna be adding about a hundred dollars in fees. It was t- it was awful. I I I wasn't gonna go because I went to a musical last night, but I I did watch a game. But that's a lot, and and wow. Well, thank I've God did, I not waste my money on I, that. I did that once this year. I I spent over four hundred to see the Packers play at the Bears, which you know. Well, you're the, the privilege of watching Trubisky play. Yeah. Wow. That should have been a red flag. The Bears scored three points that night. So yeah, ticket prices. Good job, Packer fans. Right. Yeah, I guess. Although I, I, I thought I heard uh, a lot of Chargers fans. I, 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 I hear it. people are saying ninety, eighty percent, but it seemed more like uh, sixty, forty. I watched with the sound off, so I, I wouldn't know. Was uh, Joe Buck? Yeah, Joe Buck did. The no, game. it was no. Uh, Romo oh. and uh, Nance. Oh, Romo. Yeah, that's right. Who I actually listened to him? Who actually went down to the field and called the game for a like a drive or two? Oh, wow. 
pretty interesting stuff. I can't listened, can't believe was... Nance could actually uh, follow the action from uh, on the sideline. I mean, I know those guys wow. have help from their producers and all yeah. that stuff. Uh, it, it was a short walk from uh, upstairs to down in that stadium. Oh my God. Right, twenty seven thousand seats. Mm. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, Packers lost. Uh, they just really could not get it going on offense. And plus the uh, Chargers just were doing these monster drives that were like eight minutes apiece. Yeah. I think uh, Rodgers only had the ball like maybe once or I'm sorry, twice yeah, or three times. Like 80 yards going into fourth quarter, didn't he? Yeah. It was terrible. So and then, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Boza. He's fucking yeah. Boza kid. Still See, messing with Nick me. Nick and Joey. Yeah, that and, yesterday was Joey. Nick plays for the Niners. Yeah, we're gonna play th- him next God, week. They're so good. And uh, and then Ingram, I guess, is the other guy on the other side. So yeah. they just pretty much teed off on uh, the Packers' offensive line, and Rodgers really could, did not have time to throw the ball. And that's how you beat the Packers. Basically, is you uh, you know you hit it's Aaron Rodgers, game. and uh, thinking, you don't let him touch the ball. I thought it'd be really cool if they would have won, but. Yeah. Well, it was kind of surprising how poorly they played. Yeah, I I was surprised and, by that because uh, they've been rolling so well lately. Well, Aaron Rodgers had some uh, thoughts. Oh, I saw that on that. Mm. I think he, when he was asked about the loss, I think it happened to any team. Yeah. I don't think it was complacency at all. Whether it was the trip, not everybody taking care of themselves the right way over the right. past two days. Exactly. Or we were just tired or the difference in temperature, but those are just excuses. The facts are that we weren't locked in from the start. And that's a little disappointing. Very disappointing. So you're, uh, you're not on a vacation. You're on a business trip. Isn't that what they're saying? Uh, Gene, I may have uh, taken some blame. I did sell uh, half a kilo of cocaine to a bunch <laughs> of dudes in Packer gear uh, downtown. Yeah. Halloween night. Well, I bet the Packer fans loved it because it was beautiful weather in L.A. and there's a lot going on here. And then the whole thing was great. Then you go to the game. It's like, oh, well, Gene. Yeah, you uh, you know, you have you have a bunch of uh, rowdy dudes, alpha males, uh, stuck in uh, Gr- Green Bay, Ashwaubenon, Wisconsin. Yeah, that's right. You let them loose on L.A. and uh, you know it's out of control. Yeah. So that's why we need home field advantage. Right. We, we don't oh, want to play absolutely. the Rams. Absolutely, absolutely. Or some shit. Maybe like uh, I guess we can't play Indianapolis, but and, uh, and plus it also shows the Chargers are, are better than they. They should be ashamed of themselves well, for losing so much. Phil Rivers is one of those quarterbacks that can single handedly beat you because he just basically you know takes you apart. And if his receivers actually catch the ball, he will beat you. Chargers is good. They get they they got really scrambled to make the playoffs. What they're four and five now, mm, but. Yeah, they're good. They're decent. So all right. Well, it's good that the uh, Green Bay they did. I mean, listen, it, they they lost. It's it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Seven and well, two. they go home and play Carolina next. Uh, they got to win that game because then they go back on the road for two more. They're in the middle of a lot of road games, so they yep. got to win. Yep. Well, everyone else in the uh, North lost, so that's it. You got to yeah, win. You got to win at home next week. That's what I'm saying. All right. So okay. uh, and then sad news out of Cincinnati. Andy Dalton was oh benched. God. The He's Bengals a have a buy. People bring him up for next year's Bears quarterback. The number one is Mariota, but Andy Dalton's name gets thrown out there. And well, the trade deadline was this past week. So and uh, no one he did not move. So you got to wonder. What are you gonna give up for him? But if he's a free agent. Maybe uh, the Bears would take Bear, – Bears are in such desperate straits. I mean, um, do, you, do you think – what's his name, Ryan Pace? Do you think he even called the Bengals or what? He doesn't get any draft picks. He gave them all away for Trubisky and Khalil give Mack. Him, uh, give him Tariq Cohen or something like that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Got got to deal with you, what you got. Yeah. Uh, how about Khalil Mack? Huh? Yeah, well, you know. Trade his they ass. gave up two number ones for him. Yep. All right, so, uh, yeah, you, you'd like to see him, right, play for the Bears? I don't think so. No. No, not really? All. Not at all. No. Dang. He, I mean, how much you need to get burned by crappy quarterbacks? I, th- I, I think I he's take, good. I think I, it's just the Bengals. I would take a flyer on Mariota because uh, Helfridge, uh, their offense coordinator, he, he was his coach in college. Yeah, I'd take a flyer on him or maybe, uh, I don't like Cam much. but Cam uh, Newton. Well, in the offseason. I think he'd be good. He's for the Bears good. He can, uh, I mean, if he'll ever, pl- ever play again, his yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that would be good because that's kind of the uh, football defense he's used to with Ron Rivera as his head coach. Mm. But, uh, yeah, no way a black quarterback can succeed in Chicago. So. Wait a second. That's, that's what you're trying to say, Gene? That's the no, I'm thing? not saying – no, no. Okay. 
Oh right. my gosh, you just stick to Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm not uh, even from Illinois. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, we got a little baseball news uh, really quick, including uh, some rumors of a update to the ball and glove logo. Oh, really? For the Milwaukee the Brewers. Of stories of love. Were they are they going to bring it back permanently? So. Uh, well, I don't know if it's going to be, it's probably going to be an alternate logo or whatever, but, uh, the classic M and B MB ball and glove logo, yeah. they're going to clean it up. I do have a picture of it on the, uh, is that, that's what the new, uh, that's, that's the new one. So it's a little subtle to tell the difference. First of all, it's a Navy blue. Yeah. I do like that dark blue. And then the ball, see if I got my brewer's right, head around. Right, there. right. Can you look on that table or that, I'm sorry, that couch right there, that chair behind oh. you is my brewer's hat right there. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. So you see that this is a little bit tough to see in the, the glare, yeah. but you see how there's only one line. Yeah. It's like an S going through the uh, ball. Well, this one has two lines. All right. And it and looks more like line. a traditional baseball. I love it. And then the ridge here is connected between the B and the M. Oh. If you okay. can see that on the. See, this one is not connected on the old one, and then yeah. the other one is connected. So well, maybe it you are more very like perceptive to notice that. But I love it. Well, I love the old Twitter. Cool stuff. Twitter showed me that stuff. I wish the Cubs would bring back. These guys have the cubby bear on their uh, sleeve, like the old cubby bear patch. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Good, good for Milwaukee. Best logo of all sports. I, yeah, it's I a do, great I logo. Okay Don't get that. away from the M or the wheat. What is the barley wheat or the whatever they got on there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the M. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay, but this is cool. That's really it's cool. iconic. Yeah. It's the museums. Yep. All right. and That uh, is crazy. And, I, uh, I was stunned. Who would want that old bound up prick? <laughs> right? Well, Gene, of course, is talking about Mike Matheny. Would you want him for a manager? Former How'd they get him to Cardinals smile? manager. They probably, he probably amazed He's thinking of all they, those zeros he's got on his paycheck. Uh, but he's going to be the new manager for the uh, Kansas City Royals. I am very surprised. The Royals. Just uh, across the state from St. Well, Louis, right? Well, yeah. Same. He he, ha- he he was able to s- have the same phone number. I don't get Do you get it? Well, I mean, he's. I guess he's an accomplice. He won the World Series, right? No, did he not? He did not. Oh, he okay. was there the year after. I mean, he is a good coach. He always he, beat, he, he always beat up on the Brewers. I think Tony La Russa won it. Wasn't it Larusa, and then he was there the year after? I think yeah, he so. got to there, but I know he's wins. that success. But man, he's so he's a well to the Royals. I hope everyone likes playing in extreme tension. That's what it, exactly what I was gonna say. It's like if you like b- being tense all the time, you're on. Oh my God! Look know. how better they were without him. Maybe. Uh, yeah, well, maybe I don't. know. Maybe they got a, young, a lot of young kids in KC, like a lot of young prospects. So they need yeah. like a. So I'm going to whip him into shape. Yeah, all right. Maybe it'll work so it out. I, I like Kansas City, but I don't get that one. I don't want to. I'm glad the Cubs didn't hire him. Not that they ever did oh. that stupid. All right. And then we got some odds and ends, including the sad story Uh-oh. of uh, Deadspin. Wow. I noticed. You Basically. know, before I knew what was going on, because I read Deadspin every day, and then I was like, what's going on with Deadspin? They, they, they cut down their articles and stuff, and they, it's gone off the rails. So basically what happened is that the owner of uh, Deadspin, they got new owners and uh, they basically told them to stick to sports. The writers and editors of Deadspin say, we're not going to do that. They fired one long-term. Barry uh, Pacheski, I I think that's his name. Yeah. Uh, So he got fired or quit or whatever. And then basically all the other writers and all the other editors uh, followed suit. And uh, yeah, you actually it is actually producing new content, but it's this weird stuff that's been yeah. created by all algorithms and like AI and stuff. So you basically have machines writing Terrible. these articles. I I can't. I'm really weird. Hanging in there with them. They I I how are they gonna survive this one? They won't. Oh, that's uh, that's been dead. It's just gonna be another website with yeah, uh, pictures yeah. and words. Wow, why uh, would words. the owners come in and screw up such a great thing? But I don't know. Uh well. I think the biggest question on everyone's minds is what are we going to do for content in August, Gene, oh, Drew. without Drew Did McGarry's you, uh, your favorite team sucks. Yes, he quit. Oh, I didn't know that. He Drew quit, quit, I think, last week. Oh, wow. 
he'll get hired somewhere else. Bill Simmons will hire him. Yeah. Well, I I'm sure he'll do his uh, article somewhere else. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Gene, that's a lot of hours of content we're gonna get uh, screwed out of. So oh my gosh, uh, you better. That's such a great. I'll miss him. I'm still come back. reading them, and it's it's like, oh wow, what happened? Yep. All right, and Gene, we got a uh, special treat for everyone this week. It's the worst mm. state of the week. And it can't be Iowa, because Iowa, I think we did make it once, but hopefully nothing bad happened in Iowa. Of course, this is where uh, news from a state in the Midwest is so egregious. E- e- egregious? Egregious. Egregious. Yeah, right, right. That they're officially the worst state of the week. Yeah. All right. Let's lay it on uh, Michigan. All right. Well, Gene, I'll tell you what. Let me read the story. Okay. And then you can guess the state. All right. Um, a woman was found dead yesterday oh, no. with an eight foot python snake wrapped oh, around her neck. I did hear about that, but I don't know where it happened. The I snake was a reticled oh, python. Mom would freak out. My mom does not like that. Which is native to Southwest Asia and wow. is considered to be the longest snake in the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. The, uh, I'll give you a hint uh, uh, the county. Benton, the Benton County Dispatch, Benton, Wisconsin, received a 911 call last night after Laura Hurst, 36, was found unresponsive. Wow. The, uh, it's not, it gets weirder, Gene. Oh. The home is owned by Benton County Sheriff Donald Munson, mm. according to property records. Munson did not return a, this is from CNN, a CNN call for comment Thursday afternoon. Munson told the Lafayette Journal and Courier that Hearst's death was a tragic accident and that he was being fully cooperative with everyone. So I'm guessing this lady went to this. This is basically a a house. Yeah. Just full of snakes. It was a snake house. My mom's freaking out. She, mom, turn this off. This is too much. So did this lady go into the house to like feed all the snakes? I don't know. And like, did she, did she trip? I'm not. And sure. then the python All just right. uh, went after her. Yeah. Okay. Or did she decide to take a nap? Yeah, took a nap. With took that. a snake nap. Yeah. Yeah. Jumped That's into the cage happened. with a sure. snake. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Mm. I know we've lost my mom by now. There's no way she can hear this story. Gene, you've heard. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she was suicidal. Yeah. You've heard of death by cop. Right. This is death by snake. Oh. Okay. Wow. Hmm. I I couldn't imagine much worse ways to go. <laughs> well, if would the snake have like swallowed her up? All if right. like someone did find her, well, where did this happen? So we all can right. End this so story. Uh, it happened in uh, Oxford, Indiana. Uh, remind me. I don't know if I've Oxford, ever been to Oxford, Indiana, but... where uh, the people are so suicidal they're going to use a snake. Mm. And where their county sheriffs own snake houses, yeah, that to me set it over the top. The 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 sheriff owned the goddamn house where this happened. Wow, sounds like a Netflix documentary special. Oh my god, making a murderer snake. Yeah, snake edition. This is a bad story. Okay, Indiana, all right. Well, Indiana, you're, you're the worst state of the week, Indiana. There you go. Congratulations. That's a terrible story. Yeah. I just wonder. I'd like to see my mom's reaction when she hears it. She no way because she she turned it out. up. Oh, I, she would have had to. She freaks out, absolutely freaks out. Um, yeah. So sorry about that, mom. If you did make it, I'm sure you didn't make it. You she wouldn't have to bail on that one. All right. She said, uh, "Oh no, oh no, you Jean. That's too much. Oh, no. oh, when I was walking here, I took the subway, but they're having a Ford versus Ferrari premiere tonight. Yeah, so Hollywood, they Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard. All Jesus, up. that that street has literally been closed for like a it's month amazing. straight. amazing, and it's going to be closed uh, a bunch coming up. Yeah. I mean, if you know traffic in L.A., Hollywood Boulevard is pretty important, but I love when it's closed because the premiere is really cool. But, man, driving around there, oof. And I live in the neighborhood, so that's yeah, why I walk. kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, I wonder if Adam Carolla, how pissed off he is that oh he uh, made a documentary about this stuff and then they're just going to make a movie. Yeah. I'm surprised. Well, I guess it's his fault for not buying the rights, I guess, right? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Mm. All right. Well, Gene, I think we've uh, learned a lot. I today. think we did, too. I would uh, like to say, uh, Mom, if anyone's near, please uh, 
get her so I back counter. to good. How, yeah, she Make sure she doesn't have a boa constrictor oh around her. Wait, wait. No, don't say that because she'll freak out. She's <laughs> already freaked out. She's not. She didn't make it this far. Okay. All right. Well, Gene, I think we're yep, going to good, uh, good job, end it right buddy. there. Okay. All right. So for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. She would, I'm telling you, that would absolutely...